So how's everybody feeling this morning? <laughs> Glad to be here. Get your morning started right. Well, my name is Jennifer. As you all know, it's good to see you. Thanks for getting up early on Saturday. We are continuing to work our way through the gifts of imperfection. Um, we have gotten to the, the guidepost number eight, which is titled Cultivating Calm and Stillness. So letting go of anxiety is a lifestyle. Let's get started in child's pose. Bring your knees wide, big toes touch at the back of your mat. Press your forehead down into the earth and presence yourself. Cultivate a bit of calm, of stillness right here for yourself. Listen to the sounds in the room. Notice the sounds outside of the room and begin your ujjayi breath. So breathe in so deeply into your back body and then exhale through your nose. So Brene defines calm as creating perspective and mindfulness while managing emotional reactivity. So you can still be excited or upset but it's that managing your emotional reactivity, managing the time between when you are triggered and when you respond. And yoga teaches us how to create a bigger space between the triggering and the response. So every time you come to your mat and you get into a pose where you're like, oh my goodness, I wanna come out of the pose, that is you teaching your body to be with what is. And how to put space between you and the stimulus. Take a big breath in and empty out. Let go of anything that you think that you've got to do before or after. All you have to do is be here right now. Walk your fingers off the right hand side of the mat all the way onto the floor. Create that big stretch from your left pinky finger to your left hip crease. Really pull the floor back towards you to accentuate that stretch. Take a big breath in and let it go. Walk your fingers straight back to center and then off to the left side of your mat. Get both sides. Really tent your fingers pulling the floor towards you. Full body stretch. Take a big breath in, let it go. Walk your hands back to center, downward facing dog. Yeah, check out your dog, walk it around. Send your heels energetically down towards the mat while softening your knees. Breath in and breath out. Breathe in and ground down like earth. One more big breath right here. Let it go. Walk your feet to your hands. Take ragdoll pose. Feet hips width distance apart. Clasp opposite elbows with opposite hands. Press your sits bones towards the sky. So press up into me. Yeah, press down through your heels and up through your sits bones. Take a big breath in. Empty out. Breathe in. And let it go. One more big breath. Send it away. And come to stand with a long straight spine, hands at heart center, and a soft gaze. We'll begin with a single ohm. Take a big breath in. Oh. And 
drop your fingers down by your sides. Inhale, reach them up, look up, look back, breathe all the way in, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift with a long spine. Plant your hands on the mat, high plank, pause. Belly button in, hips up in line with your shoulders. Pull your shoulder blades together on your spine. Pull your heart towards the fireplace, lower halfway down, low plank. Untuck your toes, upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Three breaths, fill up and empty out. Again, breathe in, let it go. One more breath in, send it away. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, press down, reach up, breathe in, see the ceiling, see the wall behind you, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, big inhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, press down, lift up, breathe in, downward facing dog, empty out. Big breath in. Big breath out, big breath in, let it go, breath in, let it go, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump top of your mat, halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, press down, reach up, breathe in, long side bodies, bright fingers, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to the mat, vinyasa flow, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, big breath in, downward facing dog, empty out, breath in, let it go, one more, send it away, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump, halfway lift, Forward fold, extended mountain, press down, reach up, breathe in, forward fold. Halfway lift, long spine, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, full breath in, lift your heart, downward facing dog, hips high. Inhale fully and exhale completely. One more big breath in, let it go. Bend your knees, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain. Last one, reach up, go up, go back. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, full inhale. Down dog, big exhale. Lift your right leg strong and straight behind you. Toes point straight down, press out through your heel. Drop your right hip one inch. Yeah, lift from the inseam. Lift your back heel one inch higher. Now bend your knees, stack your hips, peel it open. And flip your dog. Press down through your heels, reach your fingers to the fireplace, lift from your heart, see where your fingers are pointing, big inhale, downward facing, dog to side plank, right hand, center of your mat, lift your top hip, flex your top foot, big breath in, let that breath go. Take another big breath in, look up, see your fingers, downward facing, dog. Breath in. Let it go. Lift your left leg strong and straight. Yeah, dial your toes down. Bend your knees, stack your hips. You know where we're going, flip your dog. Both feet face 12 o'clock, press down through your heels, lift your heart, reach your fingers, take a big breath in, you've got this. Downward facing dog to side plank, left hand center of your mat. Press down so much through your bottom foot that you lift your top foot. Lift your top hip, press up into me. Flex your top foot, you've got this. Take a big breath in, let it go. One more big inhale, see your top fingers. Downward facing dog, excellent work. Take a breath in, 
Sigh it out. Again, breathe in. Let it go. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose, big toes come to touch. Squeeze everything into center line and sit deep. Reach your fingers high towards the sky. Press your hip creases towards the back of your mat. Take a big breath in and sit one inch deeper. Lift your heart. Big breath in, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, big breath in, down dog, big breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Left heel plants. Squeeze, inner thighs in. Bend deep into your front knee, stack front knee over front ankle. Pull your right hip back to send your left hip forward. Four, three, two, one, warrior two. Four, three, two, one, flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. You've got this. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, big breath in. Downward facing dog, big breath out. Let it go. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Set up your foundation. Take a wider stance with your back foot. And bring your toes kind of, yeah. You've got this. Squeeze inner thighs in, bottom ribs in. Four, three, two, one, warrior two. Yeah, gaze out over your front middle finger. Stack front knee over front ankle. Four, Three, two, one. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose, bring your big toes to touch. Sit deep and squeeze in. Lift your heart, spread your collarbones. Spin your pinky fingers to face one another. Imagine a ball of energy between your hands. Light it up. Big breath in, sit one inch deeper. Big breath in, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, full breath in, downward facing dog, let it go. Right foot, warrior one, press down, lift up, go up, move with your breath, inhale, look up, look back, exhale, hands to the mat, high plank, to low plank, up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out. Left foot, warrior one, one breath, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breathe in, down dog, let it go. Let it go. Lift your right leg strong and straight. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Flip your dog. Oops. Press down to lift up. Lift your heart, lift your hips. Yes, downward facing dog. Left leg strong and straight. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and flip your dog. I knew you guys would figure that out. <laughs> Press down to lift up. Yes, downward facing dog. Breath in. Make some noise. Breath in. 
Let it go. Yeah. Right foot forward, crescent lunge. Stack that front knee over your front ankle. Back heel high over your toes. Squeeze everything into your center line. Yeah, breathe, breathe. Focus on your fingers. Focus on your breath. Yeah, keep hugging in. Open twist, left fingers to the fireplace, right fingers to the pond. Pull everything in, send your energy out your fingers. Bring your right hand to the back of your left leg. Look up, reach up, go up, go back. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breathe in, lift your heart, lift the corners of your mouth, downward facing dog, let it go. Left foot forward, crescent lunge. Squeeze in, fire up your back leg. Yeah, stack your knee, just feel what there is to feel. Pull in and reach up. Squeeze. Open twist, right fingers to the fireplace, left fingers to the pond. Pull in to express out. Bring your left hand to the back of your right thigh. Reach your right fingers up, look up, look back, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat, vinyasa flow, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Toe heel your feet, hips width distance apart. Grab your big toes with your first two fingers. Bend your knees generously. Press your sits bones towards the sky. Take a big breath in. Empty it out. Release your big toes, take gorilla pose. Palms all the way underneath your feet. Bring your toes up to your wrist creases. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Release your gorilla, set up for crow pose. Palms underneath your shoulders. You can take a brick underneath your forehead if you're working it with a, a kickstand. Bring your knees to the backs of your triceps. Forehead to the brick, squeeze your feet in towards the center of your mat. Press your sits bones towards the sky. Hug in, belly button in, bottom ribs in. Squeeze to the center. Yes, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out. Bend your knees, top of your mat, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Come to stand, long straight spine, and set up for eagle pose. Set your drishti, set your gaze on a spot that is not moving. Root your right foot into the earth, hug skin to muscle to bone. Left leg up and over, squeeze. Left arm up and under, squeeze. Pull your shoulder blades together. And switch sides. Left foot presses into the earth. Right thigh up and over, squeeze. Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Pull your arm bones straight back. Big breath in, let it go. Big breath in, switch sides. Right foot presses down, left thigh up and over, squeeze, squeeze. Pull your shoulder blades together, pull your belly button in. and switch sides. Root down through all four corners of your standing foot. And 
come back to standing. Single leg raise. Bring your left knee into your chest. Set your gaze. Root down to the sole of your right foot. Again, hug in, belly button in, bottom ribs in. Take the yogi toe lock if you're working on that. Get tall. Slowly open your leg out to the side. Extend your right arm. Shift your gaze. Come back to center. Leg high, foot high. Five, four, three, two, one. Airplane, arms back by your sides, toes point straight down, palms face the earth, chin out of your chest. Drop your left hip. Take a breath in. Let it go. And take one more big breath in. Hands to heart center. Half moon, right hand down to the earth, to a brick. Stack your top hip, flex your back foot. Stomp down through your standing leg. Lift your back foot two inches higher. Flex your foot, press out through your heel. Take a big breath in. Let that breath go. Take another big breath in. Lift your back foot, press out. Yes, bring both feet down to the earth. And come to stand. Single leg raise, opposite side. Root your left foot into the earth, right knee into your chest. Get tall, shoulder blades pulled together. Take the yogi toe lock or simply grab your knee. Yogi's choice, get tall. Press out through your heel. Open out to the side. Extend your left arm. Shift your gaze. Come back to center, foot high, fingers high. Five, four, three, two, one. Airplane, arms back, palms face down, toes point down. Hands to heart center, half moon, left hand down to the earth, to the brick, stack your top hip, flex your back foot. Lift your right arms towards the sky, bright fingers. Yeah, take a big breath in, lift your back heel one inch higher. Take another big breath in, join both feet on the mat. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Dancer pose, right side, right foot presses down, right arm reaches high. Left hand like it's gonna carry a tray. Hug in. Grab the inside of your left foot. Press your thumb into your toe. Press your toes towards the sky. And switch sides. Left foot presses down. And go for it. Hug in to press out. Switch sides. And work your edge. When you start to wobble, that's when your mind is learning. It's taking in all of the stimulus that you're giving it and it's learning where it is in space and switch sides. So find that place of wobble. Come back to standing. Tree pose. Right foot presses into the earth. Left foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Foot into leg, leg presses into foot. Equal energy, get tall. Yeah, set your gaze, find your spot. Spread your branches. Trace a line across the ceiling, lean back. Lift your heart. Hands back to heart center. 
Give your right leg a little, left leg a little kick. Join both feet. Switch sides. Bottom ribs in, tall trees, firm gaze. Spread your branches. See the ceiling right up above where you are. Hands back to heart center. Give your leg a little kick. Join both feet on the mat. Come to the top of your mat. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Extended mountain press down. Reach up. Breathe in. Get big. Exhale forward. Fold. Halfway lift. Big breath in. Hands to the mat. High plank to low plank. Up dog. Press the mat away. Breathe in. Downward facing dog, let it go. Right foot forward, warrior one, press down, reach up. Open up to warrior two. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Extended side angle, right side, forearm to thigh or fingers to earth inside your front knee. Keep pressing your knee towards your right pinky toe, bend deep into your front thigh. Big breath in, big breath out. Four, three, two, one, warrior two. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Straighten your front leg, soft knee. Reach your right fingers to the front of the room. Get long, bring your fingertips down to the earth into a brick for triangle. Stack your shoulders. Press down to your front foot. Root down through the back pinky toe foot. Take a big breath in. Let it go. One more big, beautiful breath in here. Let it go. Left fingertips bring you up to standing. Pivot both toes to face Nebraska. Side facing wide angle forward fold. Bring your fingertips down to the earth. Take a wider stance than your brain says is what's usable. Bring your forehead down to a brick to the earth something. Make contact with your forehead to something. The wider stance you take, the closer your forehead gets to the earth. Press out through the pinky toe edges of your feet. Breath in and breath out. Five, four, three, Two, one, walk your fingers back out underneath your shoulders. Take a big breath in, exhale, press down, come to stand. Pivot your right toes to face the fireplace. Left foot, bring it about halfway up your mat, setting up for pyramid pose. Have your bricks handy. Reach your fingers high towards the sky, pull belly button in. Get long through your side body, soft knees. Hinge, reach forward, long spine, reach. Frame your front foot with your hands, either on the floor, on bricks. Send your nose towards your right pinky toe. Big breath in and big breath out. Press down through your back heel. Breathe in and let it go. Squeeze inner thighs in. Twisting triangle, left hand stays where it is. Get long through your spine, reach your right fingers towards the ceiling, spin your heart towards the chakra wall. Take a big breath in, press down through your back heel. Big breath in, let it go. One more big inhale, twist, 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 twist. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, big inhale. Down dog, empty it out. Yeah, 
Left foot steps forward, warrior one. You have got this. You are strong. You have got this. Open up to warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse, breathe in. Extended side angle, left side. Forearm to thigh, fingers to earth. Stack front knee over front ankle. Take a big breath in, let it go. Four, three, two, one, warrior two. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe all the way in, 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 in. Straighten your front leg, soft knee. Reach your left fingers forward for triangle, bring them down to the earth or to a brick. Stack your shoulders, press down through your pinky toe foot. Big breath in, big breath out. Three, two, one. Right fingers bring you up to standing, pivot both toes to face the chakra wall. Set up for goddess pose, horse pose, stack knees over ankles, toes out to 10 and two. Press your tailbone down towards the earth till you feel it in your inner groins. Cactus your arms, bright fingers, laser fingers. Breath. Five, four, three, two, one, lift your right heel. Three, two, one, lift your left heel. Lift both heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower both heels down to the earth. Reach your fingers high towards the sky. Five pointed star. Breathe in. Bring your hands to your hips, left toes face the fireplace, right foot, hop it up, set up for pyramid, left side. Wide stance, short stance, squeeze inner thighs in, press down through heels, reach your fingers high, pull your bottom ribs in, hinge, reach, long spine, long spine, fingers down to the earth or to bricks. Press your nose towards your pinky toe. Press down through that back heel. You've got this. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. It's as simple as that. Right fingers stick, left fingers reach for the sky. Pull the top of your head to the fireplace. Get long as you twist. Twist, take a big breath in. Twist, 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 twist. Breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Yeah, big breath in. Let it go. Come down to your knees and set up for camel pose. And take the brick, squeeze it in between your knees. When you squeeze the brick, watch it. Send the brick towards the back of your mat. So internally rotate your thighs to send the brick back. Belly button in, bottom ribs in, fingers to the small of your back. Lift your heart towards the sky, press your hips towards the fireplace. Lift up, maybe you reach back and find a heel. If you found one, go for both. Lift your heart and breathe. Long, steady breath, soft forehead. Lean into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of camel. Untuck your toes, sit back in your heels. Big, beautiful breath in. Let it go. And then camel second set. Brick, no brick, yogi's choice. Belly button in, bottom ribs in. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart. And can you soften? Soften into where you cannot see. And trust yourself. 
You've got this. Five, four, three, two, slowly come out of camel. Sit back on your heels. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Bring both legs long out in front. Come to lie on your back. I'm setting up for bridge pose. Knees bent, heels just where you can touch them with your middle fingers. Reach both arms straight up towards the sky. Pull your shoulders straight back into their sockets. Make contact. Bend your elbows, bring them down by your ribs. Press your triceps into the earth with all the strength that you have. Lift your hips. Press down through your heels. Clasp your hands at the small of your back. Walk your shoulders underneath you. Press your fist into the earth. Press your hips towards the sky. Maybe today you kick the sky. Lift your right foot. Press out through the sole of your foot. Switch sides. Press left foot towards the sky. Yes. Lower all the way down. Take a big breath in. Let it go. And then set it up and go. Bridge, you know where to go. You were just there. If you're taking bridge, rock it. Go for it. If you're going into full wheel, bring your hands on either sides of your ears. Press straight down into the mat with hands, with feet, and rise up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down with control. Big breath in. Let it go. And then set it up again and go. Bridge or wheel. Rise up, yogis. The time is now. This is your practice. Be here in the moment, in the breath, in your body. Six, five, four, three, two, one. With control, lower down. Breath in and breath out. And again, rise up, bridge, wheel, what is calling to you, go for it. Bring your power into the moment right here, right now. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. One breath in and one breath out. Last one of your practice, yogis. Bridge, wheel, bring it. Go for it. Now is the time. Rise up into the bridge, into the wheel. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Take Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees spread wide. One hand to your heart. One hand to your belly. Feel your energy. You did that. You have it in you. You always have had it in you. You just don't always see it. Take in a full body stretch. Reach your fingers. Point your toes. Flex your feet. Get big. Take up space. Lift both legs high towards the sky. Grab your brick, squeeze it between your ankles. Oh yeah, just feel your feet. Never mind, feel your feet. Look at the paint on the ceiling and wish that it didn't look like that. How about that? Press up through your heels. That's just a <laughs> Lower your feet towards the fireplace. Reach your fingers towards the pond. Open up. Bring your legs back up past the brick. Lower your legs. Reach your fingers. Legs back up past the brick. Lower. Keep moving, keep breathing, keep moving with intention, with deliberate concentration. Feel your feet, feel your fingers, feel your breath. Three, two, last one, make it count. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a big breath in. Let it go. 
Lift both legs high towards the sky. Press out through your heels. Cactus your arms. So cactus arms. Lower your right leg about halfway down. Press out through your flexed foot. Lift your shoulders up off the earth and pulse towards your left pinky toe for 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 24, 23, 22, 20, 16, 13, 10, 7, 2, pull your knees into your chest, take a breath in, let it go, press your legs back up towards the sky. Cactus your arms, you gotta get the other side. Lower your left leg down about halfway, flex your foot, active feet. Shoulders up, 40, 39, 38, 37, 35, 3, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, uh-huh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a breath in. Let that breath go. Stack your knees over your hips. Flex your feet like you're sitting in a chair, but there's no chair. Press your palms into your thighs and resist. Feel the natural curve of your spine. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. How many? What's our number today? 30. 30. Okay, right elbow to left knee. Flex your foot. Kick it long. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull your knees into your chest. Oh, sweet <laughs> <laughs> Take a big breath in, full body stretch, let it go. Big breath in, you did the thing. Rock and roll yourself up to a downward facing dog. Down dog, yeah. Check it out. How does this down dog feel? <sighs> Lift your right leg strong and straight. Bring your thumb tips to touch at the top of your mat. Lizard, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Chin out of your chest. Maybe find some front to back movement. Feels good and lizard. Maybe you drop your back knee, whatever feels good to you right here. Bring your back knee down to the earth. Open up your right foot to the knife's edge, your pinky toe edge, so drop your back knee to the earth. Yeah, drop it all the way down. Yeah, press out onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Open up, feel your right hip flexor. Bring your palm to your right thigh. Slide your palm towards your knee, towards the chakra wall. Lift your heart towards the sky. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, bend your back knee, reach back, grab a hold of your back foot. That one, the top one, the free one. Yeah, you got it. Now lean, lean back, lean, lift your heart, lean back, soften, 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 soften. Yeah, feel all the goodness, soften. Release your bind, bring both hands to the earth, tuck your left toes, fire up that back leg, right leg, kick it back, three-legged dog. Oh. Yeah, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg strong and straight. 
Bring your thumb tips to touch. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand for lizard left side. Chin out of your chest. Find some front to back movement. Get into your hip flexors. Yeah, they're sticky, troubly spots. Drop your back knee down to the mat. Open up to the knife's edge of your left foot. Press that pinky toe edge into the earth. Bring your hand to your thigh. Slide your hand down towards your knee. Lift your heart. Lean your head back. Soften. Soften. Bend your back foot. Yeah, your back knee. Reach back. Grab a hold of your toes. Come up onto the top. Yeah, the top of your knee. Soften. 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 Release your bind. Bring both hands to the earth. Fire up your right leg. Kick it back, three-legged dog, to downward-facing dog. Take a big inhale. Let it go. Right leg strong and straight. Pull your knee into your nose. Kick it back, three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow touch. Gaze forward, kick it back. Right knee to left elbow cross touch. Kick it back. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg strong and straight. Pull your knee into your nose. Kick it back. Left knee to left elbow touch. Gaze forward. Kick it back. Left knee, right elbow cross under touch. Kick it back. Downward facing dog. Whoo. Take a breath in and let it go. Lift your right leg strong and straight. Bend your knees, stack your hips, open up. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Instead of for half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. Work to stack your front toe bones. Work to stack your big toe over your pinky toe. So bring your shin across your mat like so, like right knee to right wrist, right knee to right wrist. But bring your shin across your mat diagonal like so. You can bring this brick back underneath your right hip to give yourself some space. And can you press down and lift up? Now walk your fingers forward. You know, take sleeping pigeon, bring your forehead down to the earth and soften. Soften. Stillness is not about focusing on nothingness. It's about creating a clearing. It's opening up an emotionally clutter-free space and allowing ourselves to feel and think and dream and question. Soften. Let this pose untangle all the tangles. Once we can let go of our assumptions about what stillness is supposed to look like and find a way to create a clearing that works for us, we stand a better chance of opening ourselves up and confronting the, the, ne the next barrier to stillness. The next barrier to stillness is fear. If we stop long enough to create a quiet emotional clearing, the truth of our lives will invariably catch up with us. We convince ourselves that if we stay busy enough and keep moving, reality won't be able to keep up. Bring your fingertips back up onto the mat. Tuck your back toes, three-legged dog. Kick your right leg high. Take some hip circles. Take some knee circles. Check out your new hip flexor. Yeah, all that blood flow comes back into your leg. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg strong and straight. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Half pigeon, left knee to left wrist. Left knee to left wrist. 
Yeah. And when you're ready, crawl your fingers forward, bring your forehead down, and soften. So we stay in front of the truth about how tired and scared and confused and overwhelmed we sometimes feel. Of course, the irony is is the thing that's wearing us down is trying to stay out in front of feeling worn down. So when you give yourself stillness, when you give yourself a clearing, a clutter-free clearing to think and feel and dream and question, the tiredness and the overwhelmed feeling, you're giving yourself time to process this experience of life. So calm and stillness is a thing that you can cultivate at any time. You can come back to your breath. Your breath regulates your body, your mind. It creates space between the stimulus and the response. And it gives you, no matter how small of the delay, it gives you an opportunity to choose how to respond instead of simply reacting. Walk your fingertips back up onto the mat. Tuck your back toes. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Let it go. Shift your way forward into a high plank. Low plank. Back up to high. Down to low. Back up to high. Lower down five, four, three, two, one. Bring one ear to the earth. Bring your arms back by your sides, palms facing the mat. Locust pose. Zip your two legs into one. Fly your hands, your heart, your feet. Rise up. Press out into my shins. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Get two inches higher. Let that breath go. One more big breath in. Lower all the way down. Big inhale. Big exhale. Locust pose, second set. Zip your two legs in. Fly up. Rise up. Press out into my shins. Let press out. Press out into my shins. Breath in. Rise high. Let your breath go. Get two inches higher. Breathe in. Lower all the way down. Big breath in. And big breath out. Floor bow. Bend your knees. Grab your feet. Grab your ankles. Squeeze your knees in towards the center of your mat. Press down through your pubic bone and your thighs. Rise up. Flex your feet. Breathe. Maybe rock your floor bow all the way over to the right. Get some movement going. Rock it back over to the left. Come back to center. Release your grip. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Breath in and breath out. Floor bow, second set. You've got this. Rise up, yogis. Kick your feet. Pull back on your feet with your hands. Lift up. Breathe in. Send your breath away. Breathe in. Let it go. Release your grip. Windshield wipe your legs. Extend your legs out long. Take a big breath in. Empty out. Roll over onto your backs and take in a full body stretch. Reach your fingers, reach your toes. Get longer through your right fingers, longer through your left fingers. Set up for an inversion practice of your choice. 
You can take waterfall pose with the brick underneath your sacrum. Press your feet up towards the sky. If you're working on traditional headstand, work from the center of your mat or bring your mat to a wall, yogi's choice. Brick underneath your sacrum, press your feet straight up towards the sky. Flex your feet, press out through your heels. And breathe. Focus on the space between your big toes. Squeeze my fist. Press up through your heels. Lift your tailbone. Press, squeeze my fist. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Flex your feet. Press up through your heels. Bottom ribs in. Pull your bottom ribs in. Yeah. Tadasana. Long side body. Press down through forearms. Press up through heels. Big, beautiful breath. Bottom ribs in. With control. Slowly begin to make your way down to your mat, lowering your legs with control. Headstanders take child's pose. Everyone else take two big, beautiful breaths in and out. Make your way onto your back and bring your right knee into your chest. Give it a big squeeze. Squeeze your right knee like you like it. Like maybe you don't appreciate your right knee for all of the things that it does for you. Supine twist. Left hand takes right knee across your body. Right arm comes out like a wing. Send your gaze out towards your right thumb. And feel that beautiful stretch. Yeah, press your right shoulder down into the mat. Open up your side body. Breathe. Come back to center. Extend your right leg long. Bring your left knee in. Squeeze it, hug it, give yourself a hug. Supine twist, opposite side. Breathe. Come back to center. Take eagle legs, it's kind of hard to describe, eagle legs, so cross one leg on top of the other. Reach up, grab the outside edges of your feet, and press, yeah, flex your feet strong. Kick your feet into your hands and pull back on your feet with your hands. Big IT stretch. The more you kick, soften, yeah. The more you kick your feet into your hands, the more you feel it. Breathe. Oh yeah, let your head... Relax, breathe into the goodness. Yes, this is all you. Flex your feet, breathe. Release your grip, switch your bound, switch your bound leg, the tops now the bottom. Reach up, grab the outside edges, flex your feet, and kick your feet into your hands and pull back on your feet with your hands. Soften the back of your head into the earth. Release your grip. Take in a full body stretch. Uh, it's like gamukasana legs. Well, they used to call it longhorn pose when I lived in Austin. 
reach your, your right leg up towards the sky. Take the strap, wrap the strap around the toe ball mound of your foot. Press up through your heel. Bring your right toes to point towards your left shoulder. As you kick up on the strap, kind of guide your big toe towards your left shoulder. You'll feel that in your outer IT band, similar to the last pose that we were just in. Press up through your heel. Yeah, big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, so good. Open your right leg out to the side, switch the strap into your right hand, and press out through your heel. Come back to center. Bring your right leg down, bring your left leg up. And kick into the strap. Point your toes towards your right shoulder and press up through your heel. Slowly open your leg out to the side. And come back to center. Release the strap. Take in another full body stretch. Happy baby. Bend your knees, flex your feet. Kick your feet towards the sky. Press your tailbone into the earth. Grab the outer edges of your feet. Press your tailbone down, the back of your head down. Bend your knees. Yeah, pull your knees into your armpits. Soften. 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 Release your happy baby. Extend your legs out long on the mat. Get big and take up space. You have done the work. Let the earth support you. Can you notice how many points of contact there are between you and the earth? Feel your fingers. Feel your feet. And let your forehead soften. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Let your breath return to normal.
fingers and toes. And bring small movements back into your body. And right here, biggest breath you've taken in all day. Breathe it all the way in. Lion's breath out. Yeah, take another breath in just like that. Make some noise. One more breath in. Lion's breath out. Bend your knees. And gently roll to your favorite side. And cradle your head in your arms. And use this sweet in-between space to check in. Do a full body scan. All of the sensations, the feels, the weight of yourself pressing into your mat. Make a list of three things that you're grateful for. And say something kind to yourself. And know that you can come back to your breath in any situation, in any moment. Come back to your breath and create space for you. Slowly press yourself up to seated at the top of your mat with hands at heart center and eyes closed. Sitting tall, pressing your thumbs into your breastbone. Honor yourself for the work of coming here, of coming to your mat, of doing this practice, of exploring, of working through all of the feels that come up, the sensations, the warmth of your thighs as they say, good morning. You did it. You've done the work. We'll close with one ohm. Big breath in. Oh. Bring your thumb knuckles to your forehead center. And together we bow and say namaste. Namaste. Namaste.